Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back where we talk all things health and wellness. Today I'm excited to be bringing you a apple dumpling recipe that has been passed down to me um, in it's more of an Amish style recipe and as we go and make it um, we'll share a little bit more of the story with you but I'm excited to bring a little twist to it as well. Um, I'm gonna be making a similar version, but it's gonna be gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. And so stay tuned for that and let's dive right in. Okay, so um, we use one of these nifty apple peelers and we did get it at a local like Amish hardware store. But um, I think they do have them online and I can link them for you if you're interested. But when you're doing a lot of apples, it's just really handy to have one of these. Um, and I just wanted to share that I did some trial and error in trying to find a recipe that would mimic um, my mom's recipe that was handed down to her. And her recipe traditionally uses Bisquick mix and you just follow the Bisquick... Uh, biscuit recipe. The biscuit recipe. And so I looked up some like keto variations of biscuit recipes. It did not work. Um, I tried several. It just basically kind of meshed in with the apples and it was almost more like a cake. It was still good, but it was not like the apple dumpling concept. And so I am actually using a um, cutout cookie recipe for the dough so that it's moldable and pliable, but will keep its shape and form as well. So that's gonna be my variation. And one quick thing that we love to do is add um, some sliced apples in the bottom of our pan before we even get started. So my mom's gonna share a little bit more about her um, variation as we roll out our dough. I'm just adding a cup of water. I have a biscuit mix I got at the bulk food store, but Bisquick does the very same thing. I mix this with a fork. I always think it stays flakier if you don't use a spoon. It just uh, is a more flaky crust to mix it with a fork. To roll this out, I use the same uh, biscuit mix to roll it out on. Using flour really dries it out. And it's really important in the recipe that I'm using, again, I will link the um, recipe in the video description box below. It's really important that you chill it so that you can work with it. And so I have chilled this and then it recommends that you roll it out using the oat fiber. So that's what I'm using here. And again, as you'll see, she has much more experience than I do. And um, this is a little bit trickier to work with. But where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> with this she loved to make cinnamon rolls and so she decided to start making apple dumplings like cinnamon rolls and cut the apples smaller and it just seems to bake and then I brown sugar and about a teaspoon of cinnamon so this would be like you do cinnamon rolls and yeah, the apples are soft and my husband loves it like this because the apples are always nice and soft. I um, have about a third of a cup that I'm gonna use of coconut oil for my dough that I have melted in the pan here. And I put um, about a tablespoon of maple syrup and about a teaspoon of molasses just to give it that brown sugar flavor a little bit more. So the recipe was handed down to you from? From my mom. Okay. She started making apple dumplings, sort of like cinnamon rolls. Now you just add your apples. And 
going to roll this up. I put a, a little bit of lemon juice on the apples just to hold them over and turn them brown. As you're cutting them? Mm -hmm. How much brown sugar did you say you put on your dough? I used one cup and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have Probably about five apples. I put some in the bottom of the pan also. My dough is not going to be able to handle as much. It's not quite as pliable, so I don't want to put quite as many apples in. I would say I have about two apples, and then I have two apples in the bottom of my pan. Okay. Now you just roll them up like you would cinnamon rolls. You got your apples in there. be very tricky but just keep working with it. Is this recipe double the biscuit, bis, biscuit recipe or is it a single? Uh, I would do the double. Okay. I used the rest of my butter and melted it, added some brown sugar, and a little bit of water. I know some people thicken this, but I like it like this. And the whole time these were baking, I had this on the burner melting together. That's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Have a great day.